Alrighty guys, so I'm going to be doing a video today on how to be a solo or rally trap. Um, basically this video is just going to be a, a updated version of the, the video that I did a while back. Because um, I did one on um, both of those I believe and uh, I just feel like with all the new gear coming out and the game progressing as much as it has and the, the larger amounts of troops that you, you see out there, um, I felt like it, like it was really time to uh, do another video on that. So um, basically what a trap is, I'm um, going to start with the basics. A trap is meant to be deceiving and um, not necessarily meant to be super low power. It's not like you see someone that's, say it's a solo trap and they're 20 mil, 20 mil now, it's like that's, that you can take on that easily. No, If you have some big guns in your base like and you have great stats, it's not going to hurt you. You're, you're going to be fine and uh, but I think that the, the real solo traps now are going to be from about maybe 60 to 120, 150 million power. Those are going to be the solo trap range for the most part. Um, even 40 to 60 million is still plausible. I mean, um, you can have 5 million T2s, with, uh, which is going to add up to 40 million power. So... And then you can have some research and uh, building power and commander power or whatever. Um, so you can definitely mass that power quite a bit. Um, in terms of rally trap, um, you're probably going to see them vary from, I, I think that like 500 million is really where, where they uh, are really good at hiding it. And those are the ones that tend to hurt quite a bit. Uh, anywhere from 500 million to, it used to be like six or 700 million. And now it's turned out to be like, um, eight to 800 million to 1.2 billion um so um yeah i mean it's it's just going to be wide ranged and um um but yeah i'm gonna try and teach you guys um down the road how to spot one um what i look for there's there's countless things that you can look for but um there's some big ones that i like to stick with and I, that are really telltale signs for me but anyways, this video is just going to be on how to be a rally trap or a solo trap. Um, so I'm basically just going to tell you guys that um, you're going to want to have a a lot of troops. That's that's I think pretty obvious in a trap. Um, for a solo trap, you're probably going to want to have. It used to be you used to have t tons of T1s. I think now you want to have tons of T2s. So that's um, maybe some, yeah, you want to have some T1s probably, unless you don't want to burn. If you want T2s, then yeah, just train a ton of those and maybe some T3s, uh, with some T4 sprinkled in there, if you're going to go the level 21 and up route. Um, but, um, for a rally trap, I'm just going to start with the troop, um, pretty much composition for a base that's a, that's a solo trap and a rally trap. For a rally trap, you're going to have just these two types of troops right here, and obviously, these two, just T3s and T4s. If you have T1s and T2s, you are definitely opening yourself up and you're much more susceptible to burning. Um, you can you can take someone's commander with a lot less T3s than, than you're going to have millions of T2s. Yeah, it's going to hurt them really bad. If that's what you're looking for, then yeah, you can train T2s. But um, if, if you really want to like never burn and you want to take their commander and you want to ruin their day, you, you want to have T3s and T4s. Um, yeah, I mean, the only time that we've ever had our commanders taken in a rally um, is with um, just T3 and T4. So um, there's actually a couple of great rally traps in our state that we know not to mess with because they they know what to do and they know which troops to train and uh, they know what troops to get rid of um, or to stick away from. But um, yeah, I mean, you see right here, there's a guy in our state, ONG Tupac. Yeah, he burnt me the other day just because well, I was... I was sitting in infantry gear too, yeah, and um, I had T1s and T2s. You guys have seen my stats. They're not that bad. <laughs> They're pretty good in my book, but um, I had uh, T1s and T2s because I was like, ah, I'm never going to get, nobody's going to have the stones to rally me, but hell, he did, and <laughs> he freaking burnt me. Yeah, I took his rally, and I mean, <laughs> he, none of their troops went back, but his commander went back and, I mean, killed a lot of my T1s, and I was burning, and, you know, it was more... It was more of like a like pride thing than it was like uh, pissed I lost troops. I could care less about the T1s and T2s, but it's he knew because he had gotten scouts on me. 
there's a reason because I was at school that day. He knew that when he hit me, he had gotten scouts. He'd been scouting me probably 20 times a day for the past month. And he knew that I had T1s and T2s because he caught me a few times with my anti-scout on. And I don't even use it anymore because uh, T1s and T2s are gone. But um, he knew that I had that on. So he um, he knew that he'd probably be able to t uh, manage hitting me and at the rally. And uh, what do you know? He sent 3 million T4s over and burnt me. And I mean, it hurt him a lot more than me. But I think it was more of a, um, like, like uh, he wanted to he wanted to show me and yeah he uh he acted like he what he said to me was you're lucky i was at work otherwise you'd be zeroed and i was like yeah right bro. like uh go try and go try and zero someone that's two billion power that has all t3 and t4 you're gonna kiss that commander goodbye i don't care what your gear is at least in this point in the game um if you have two four or five billion power and you have only t3 and t4 and you have gear on and your stats are good and your commander's at home they can kiss that rally goodbye. You are going to take their commander so fast. That is the biggest misconception. T1s and T2s, you can you can burn guys. Like if you hit someone that's three, four billion and you're like, oh wow, I burn them? Yeah, they probably have T2s and T1s, especially T1s. If they burn you because of that and they burn you right there, that doesn't mean that you should keep hitting them. That means you can keep hitting them until you got lucky because they had those. You should keep hitting them until you're they're gone. Once there's no T2s left in, in a hit, so say you're going in and there's like a little less T3s. So say there's like 9 million or whatever. Not, you can't hit this at, at this point in the game. But um, say they had like 2 million of each T3 left and uh, all their T1s and T2s are gone. You might want to definitely consider uh, reconsider setting that 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 last rally because that probably will be the last rally for you because I don't think you're going to make it home. Um, T3s and T4s, um, it, it's almost like, it's basically like you see that, okay, for a T2, average T2, the power is eight, you get eight power for one. For average T3, you get 24. That's three times. That basically means that these are three times as strong as these. Um, in terms of these, um, it doesn't mean that they're three times as strong, but you, I think that that's a very good indicator of, of what what um, their capability is and um, what you should aim for. But these are 36. See, there's not a huge bump from T4 to T3. Um, even though there is in strength, it's in, in cost, that's for sure. But um, it just shows you that T2, T2s and T1s are so much weaker than 3s and 4s. It's it's just like, it's almost like you can draw a line right there in between those. And that's, that's where you want to kind of draw that line and... Um, keep keep with you know um yeah guys if you want to take a commander and you want to see that smoke and you want to see that massive uh, victory or awesome victory or massive defeat for them um you want t3s and t4s and a lot of people won't tell you that because that's kind of like something that not everyone's found out yet and that's that's definitely the way it is you go and watch almighty pain's videos you've seen him that's why he only has t3s and fours he's talked about it before when he started playing mobile strike he's only training t3s and t4s because he doesn't want to burn that's why that's that's it's pretty simple when you think about it um but a lot of people just don't know that um this gear set right here this predator gear you all seen it before probably especially with control point because it's great to defend a control point with you have the predator gear set on you are going to eat the rally i don't think if from what i've seen there is nothing that hurts worse than more, more than going and hitting one of these with someone's wearing this i don't know what it is about this gear but this gear kicks ass look at the um the stats 150 percent troop attack and 150 percent troop defense or uh, troop health that's crazy that is crazy and then you got these too you can go ahead and set these go ahead and set that boom i don't use this gear set very often but hell i'm gonna go ahead and use this 52 percent <laughs> that's a big chunk all right, there you go. That is huge. Um, but yeah, guys, you definitely, definitely want to be wearing this Predator gear set. That is the gear I recommend. That's the only gear I'm even going to mention in this video because I think that gear is the shit. I don't think that you should use anything else. If you're going to use something else, I think maybe Blackwing. Um, but um, you can see it's a little mixed out. Armored vehicle, infantry, armored vehicle, tactical, tactical. So that one's kind of like tactical arm. Uh, it's kind of light on the on the infantry. This one is armored vehicle, tactical, infantry, infantry, infantry. So you have that full set. You're going to be really heavy inf infantry. But um, 
if you uh, look at your gear, you go ahead and look at the gear and you're starting to mod some gear, yeah, you're not gonna wanna set it as with infantry mods. That's how you even it out. Yeah, it's really heavy infantry. Okay, that means you're putting uh, tactical and armored vehicle mods on it. So it evens it out and that way every troop packs a big punch, you know? Um, I think that's all that I, I can really tell you guys. That's my recommendation at this point in the game right now. You want to use the Predator gear because that gear is the bomb. Um, the only times we've gotten our rallies eaten is someone using that. And I'll be honest with you guys, it sucks. And uh, I hate when I see someone wearing that gear because I know it's going to hurt. And uh, if we're trying to take a control point and the, the, the head of the state is, is wearing that Predator gear, I know we're in for a hell of a time because that's not going to be easy to take. Um, but anyways, guys, this is just my opinion. I'm not a trap. It's I never have been. It's just my opinion from what I've seen and what I've seen work for people and what I've seen lose for us, you know? Um, but that's that's really the gist of it, guys. Um, I hope that this updated video helps you guys. I wanted to go pretty in-depth and explain why I use certain things. Um, uh, but yeah, guys, if you have any questions um, or you want me to make any more videos, please comment below. Ask me. I will, I will try and get back to you guys the best I can. Um, I think I'll be able to answer most questions you guys have, but um, I, there's always someone that I can ask uh, for you guys that I can get back to you. Um, I should be able to answer it, though. Um, but yeah, guys, there's that. Um, so yeah, guys, if you like this video and it helped you out, uh, hit that like button, that thumbs up, and it definitely helps me out. And um, subscribe for more, guys, if you want to see uh, some how to be trapped videos in the future once things get different with core and uh, better gear sets because I, I know that that predator gear one day won't cut it so um yeah guys subscribe um hit that like button and thank you guys for watching have a good one good luck out there <laughs>